Hello and welcome back to oddsmarket.com. Martin Green is on the line, sports writer uh, for us here at Odds Market. If you want to check out his article on this uh, subject, the link is in the description uh, below this video. We are today going to be taking a look at the early Champions League matches taking place next week. I personally can't get enough of Champions League, so I'm, I, I'm, I like the fact that we're actually doing an early look. And even to see if there's any value. Is there any early uh, value presented right now? Uh, this is a difficult market at the moment because it's the second leg of the last 16 and um, a couple of the a couple of the tyres are quite delicately poised and two of them are pretty much already already over. Um, you would expect by a sorry you would expect Barcelona and Man City to progress quite easily and um, it's going to be a bit tougher to see what happens in the Atletico Madrid game and the Bayern Munich game. But these are these are all quite risky matches to bet on, actually. If I'm honest, mm -hmm. I don't, I, the thing is, I suppose, like the the second leg, you do have a little bit more to go on than the first leg. You know, we know we know what the, sort of the aggregate is on this. Uh, we can take a look at their sort of league matches place that together and then sort of maybe get a bit, maybe get a, get a stronger idea of what to expect in the second leg. Uh, yes, certainly that's true. I think you just have to bear in mind that it is. You are you are taking into account what's happening on aggregate. So if we talk through the various matches, Man City a three one up against Dynamo Kiev. Mm -hmm. Man City are a far better team than Dynamo Kiev, and there are quite short odds on them to win the match. Um, but the problem is, from a betting point of view, uh, Man City don't need to win this match. A draw would suit them. Even a narrow defeat would suit them. They'd still go through and they'd be happy. So you have to really weigh that up. And it's exactly the same with Barcelona versus Arsenal. Barcelona are beating Arsenal 2-0 already. A 0-0 would suit them. A 1-0 defeat would suit them. They'd still go through to the next round. They're a far better team than Arsenal. You would expect them to beat them. But it's not guaranteed that it's going to happen just because you don't know if they're going to play with the same level of intensity in this second leg um, or just do enough to see them through. The other two games, Bayern Munich versus Juventus and Atletico versus, uh, sorry, PSV, mm -hmm. are much more finely poised. So I would argue that it, it would be a bit more interesting to look at those two games. Yeah. And, the, you know, the another thing as well is, you know, you've, we've, we've got to also take in respect um, uh, the league matches that some of these teams face. You know, for example, Man City, they're, they're, they've got to try and stay in uh, the top four. West Ham is right behind them. Um, then you've got also Dynamo Kiev. They're still fighting for top spot, top spot with Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, now, moving to the two, the two matches uh, that you say, and they're, they're obviously currently on draws. You've got nil-nil draw with Atletico Madrid and PSV, and then obviously Bayern Munich versus Juventus, that's a two-all draw. Um, looking at them, Bayern Munich presents value there, 1.5, I think. Um, Atletico and PSV, 1.4. Are there any of those that you would take as a straight bet? I would, I would take both of those as a straight bet. Um, certainly more interesting if you have a, a, a fair amount of money to lay down to make a decent profit out of it. You might even be tempted to, to double up and, and, and just, just put a bet on both of those results to come in. I actually do fancy both of those sides to win in 90 minutes. Um, OK, so Atletico couldn't break down PSV in Holland. They struggled and it was nil-nil. They really could have done with an away goal, but they didn't get it. I still really think they'll have too much for PSV. Although PSV are top of the Dutch league, Atletico are a superior side. The Spanish league is far better than the Dutch league. They've got much better players. I do think they'll win that one narrowly. And likewise, um, I do fancy Bayern Munich to win against Juventus. Juventus are a very good side. Um, but Bayern Munich are second favourites overall to lift the Champions League. They're a superior team. I fancy them to win it. And you do make a very good point about um, each team's various situation going on in their domestic leagues. I think Juventus are locked in a two-way battle with Napoli in the Italian league. And I think that's really going to be their priority this season. Whereas uh, Bayern Munich, 
they are a bit more likely to win the German league. I know Borussia Dortmund are holding them quite close, running them quite close, but I still think they've got a nice cushion and they'll be comfortable and they'll be confident of winning that. So they can really, really give their all in the Champions League. Uh, Pep Guardiola will be desperate to win this one, uh, go out on a high at Bayern Munich. So I think those are the two, those are the two best bets for me, actually, if you're looking at the outrights, those two to win. All right. In a second, I'm going to run through each of the matches and see whether you will play or pass. If you play, then uh, then give us a tip. Uh, just quickly, though, I just want to take a look at uh, the, uh, the the outrights, uh, both the winner and then other outright betting markets. Uh, right now, Barcelona are the favourites, 2.75, obviously, before the second leg. And then Bayern Munich actually come in quite a long 4.33, which I was quite surprised about. Who do you have right now pegged uh, to win? To win the uh, the Champions League overall? Yeah. That is really interesting. Um, <laughs> Barcelona certainly deserve to be favourites. They are by far and away, away the best team in Europe at the moment. They won it very easily last season. They're playing really well in Spain. But there's a funny quirk in the Champions League. A team hasn't won it twice in a row ever since, um, ever since the Champions League started, ever since it turned from the European Cup into the Champions League. I think the last time it happened was sort of late, late, late 1980s, early 1990s, uh, Milan side won it twice in a row, but it just never seems to happen. So I would really, I would really take that into consideration. And um, I'd certainly be looking at Real Madrid and Barcelona as, uh, as interesting outside bets, mm -hmm. but, if I was really pressed uh, right now, I couldn't look beyond Barcelona, just given their excellent current form. Yeah, Can't and, stop yeah. Messi, Neymar and Suarez up front. That's a formidable attacking triumvirate and I uh, wouldn't want to bet against them. That'd yeah. be a very bold yeah. man. Sure is. Who would you name as the finalists? Ooh, not actually sure which way the draw falls. Um, uh -huh. I'd, say, I'd, say, I'd say it's out of three teams. I'd say it's Barcelona... Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. I think those three teams are uh, head and shoulders above the rest of the bunch. Certain teams like Atletico, you could imagine gate crashing it. But I think I think teams like Man City that have done well up until now, if they were to come up against the team like Barcelona, they wouldn't they wouldn't have much chance. So I'd say I'd say it's uh, out of those three for me. All right, great stuff. Now I'm going to run through the matches uh, briefly here. Uh, so Man City versus Dynamo Kiev, play or pass. I'd probably pass just because it's risky. Uh, if you are looking, if you are looking uh, to bet on this one, you can't get particularly good odds on Man City. So I would urge you to spread your bets across a few different correct scores. Maybe sort of a narrow win to Man City, one nil or two one. Maybe a small stake on one all, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about the under uh, two and a half goals in that, this match. I think it's going to be uh, very tight indeed. Um, Atletico Madrid versus PSV. Yeah, I'd play this one. Mm -hmm. I'd look at I'd look at um, Atletico to win. I like perhaps Atletico to win one nil. I think this is going to be a low scoring game. Atletico aren't a team that score many goals, but they're so strong in defence and so hard to break down. And I also really, really like the under two point five goals in this game. Uh huh. I'm sen I'm sensing a theme here. Uh, Bayern Munich versus Juventus. Play or pass? I would. I would play this one. Again, I would look to the correct score betting. Um, you can't bet on first goal scorer in these games. None of the bookmakers are offering lines on any time goal scorers or first goal scorers. So you basically, you're, you're, you're going with either outrights, correct score or total goes over and under. And um, I think, I, could, I predict the narrow win for Bayern here. So I'd be looking at sort of 1-0 to Bayern or 2-1 to Bayern. Yeah, I'm sort of favouring both teams to score on this match. I think uh, Juve are going to give it uh, all they've, they've got. They do. They're in, they're in Syria. They made a remarkable comeback uh, in Syria uh, this season. And I, I think we'll see a goal yeah. from them. Both teams to score is my bet there. Um, and Good. then final is uh, Barcelona versus Arsenal. It's tough. I mean, I do expect Barcelona to win this one, but the odds on it aren't very good. Mm -hmm. And... It, it, it wouldn't really matter to Barcelona if they did draw, so I'd probably leave this one. All right, wonderful stuff. Martin, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me.